Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to our video. Now, Roblox car games have a huge problem. In today's video, we're going to talk about what that problem is, why this problem exists, and how they can fix it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so you might be asking, what is the problem? Well, the problem is pretty simple. Certain car games keep getting their real car models removed, such as Driving Empire, Southwest Florida, and Greenville, and I'm pretty sure there may be a few others now. Basically, you're gonna need cars in a car game. I mean, come on, that's the point of it. And people usually like the real cars being in the game, not the fake cars, such as this one right here, the fake Lamborghini Veneno. Now, this is one of the better fake cars, but I don't know how good some of the other games will be able to pull off of fake cars. So, here's the thing about that. If all these car games basically end up getting these cars removed, that's a huge problem, first off, because we need cars. And second off, I don't know if every car game is going to feel like making fake models, so it's basically not good at all that all these cars keep getting removed, so that's the big problem. Alright, now the second part to this. Why is this problem a thing all of a sudden? Well, basically, to keep a long story short, Driving Empire added these things right here called crates, and people were fine, I mean they were angry, but they were still fine when it was just these normal crates that costed in-game money. But once they started charging Robux, which is real life money, for these crates, then people got very mad. Because some people were a little bit immature and got too mad, they decided to go ahead and email the real life car companies that are in these games. So for example, let's say Ferrari got an email from a player of Driving Empire that is a fan of Ferrari, and they email them saying, hey Ferrari, this game's illegally using your cars in their game to make money. Ferrari will see that email and say, hey, game, game, for example, game Driving Empire, hey Driving Empire, take out um, these cars, please. We don't want you making money because you don't have the right to use them. So that's basically the reason this is all happening now. The decision to add crates was by Voldex, so we can put the blame on Voldex for the crates, but you can't blame Voldex for all this completely as immature people in this community did cause most of the problem by emailing and getting these games in trouble. Now, just because Driving Empire did that, that spread out to tons of other games because let's say Ferrari, for example, came to investigate Driving Empire, they may have seen Greenville or Southwest Florida and asked them to remove the cars as well. So, now you're seeing why this problem exists. Now the next part to this, how are these games gonna fix this problem? Well, there's basically two solutions and one of them's very unrealistic. Well, let's just start off with that one. So the first solution is Roblox basically makes a deal with these um, companies. Now they've done it before with McLaren. So Roblox did do an event with McLaren and McLaren allowed their cars to be on Roblox now, I believe. So they've done something like this before. But it's unlikely they'll do this with basically every car brand, it's just very unlikely because, you know, they might have to pay money for licenses or they might have to work out events or specific deals with each car company and that's just not something Roblox really cares about as car games aren't the only thing on Roblox so they're not going to spend their time working on that. Now, the car games themselves have a second option that they can do but it requires them to do it, not Roblox as a whole. So. Each car game can design its own fake cars that are inspired by the real ones. For example, right here, the fake Lamborghini Veneno. You know, this is a good one. Now, Driving Empire is probably the only game trying to do this, and there's definitely some bad ones. Like, I, let me try to find an example right here. This is an example of a bad fake car. Like, you have no clue what this is probably. I believe this is supposed to be some kind of Ferrari. But yeah, basically, those are the two solutions, and neither of them are... Well, one of them's not really realistic, and the other one, it really isn't that good of a solution in my opinion. It, it doesn't look great, so both solutions aren't very ideal. But hey, right now there still are tons of car games that haven't been affected by this yet, so please go ahead and enjoy them while this lasts. I hope this drama doesn't spread to any more car games. If this problem and drama does spread to those, that would really be unfortunate and it could end up destroying the Roblox car community. But for now, we just have to enjoy these games while we can. So drop a like if you enjoyed this video, I would truly appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, see you never miss another upload, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.